Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents, me, a very sleepy Deborah, with Vlogtober slash Crochetober. Uh, today is the 18th, and yes, I do have to check the date every day because I, half the time I don't know what day it is. Oh, wow, it was a Monday, I can tell you that. Mondays at work are sometimes just covered up with the stupid, and today we were covered up with the stupid, so yeah. Enough about that. Uh, this is going to be just at home all week because we're not driving the car because it has no brake lights. We're waiting on a part to come in um, Thursday or Friday. Probably put it in on Saturday, so there's that. But we're all good. We're stocked up on food. I mean, we're fine. It's just, you know, sometimes we like to go take a ride and it's just not safe without brake lights. Car runs fine. That's not the problem. So, I did walk out to the mailbox today, and uh, there was nothing in it. Nothing. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wait, not even junk mail, or I refer to it as paper spam? Nothing. So, okay, walked out to the mailbox for nothing. All right. Trying to catch up on videos, too, so I'm like watching videos while I'm walking to the mailbox. And walking to the mailbox is not for me just like, oh, just step outside. No, 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 we have... Uh, a very long driveway to get till we get to the mailbox so I did go down there today but we did get a package well I didn't get a package the hubby had ordered something from Amazon I think some batteries or something so he got a package by a UPS um, so yeah there's that but yeah that's pretty much all that's been going on at lunchtime today I did work on my crochet tober blanket but I do want to show you first what else I've been working on because how can I just do one thing I have some ends to weave in, but this is my pick and mix cow uh, lapkin as it's coming along. <clears throat> this was my quote main color uh, for week one, and then this was the first stitch that we did, the waistcoat stitch. I love the way it looks, my fingers don't like it. And then two rows of main color, which uh, for me, I'm doing the joined extended double crochet so it's a nice solid one but it does have some movement to it and yeah it just looks nice and I've got the cafe latte uh, stripes it's a red heart uh, stripes color so you can kind of see some color change there this was this week's week two this is the textured wave stitch and I'm kind of digging it I really like that this is a, a big twist color called burnt orange not only do I like the color I like the stitch you're just you just count five over and over and if you mess up the next row will fix it it is no big deal this is not a frog fest here so yeah I had fun doing that one and the back side looks kind of cool too it kind of picked up the stitches from the previous row so I really like that and then I went ahead and did my two main color rows for the, the next week which comes up on Thursday just like to get ahead for when I have a moment and I went ahead and did that this weekend you can kind of see the browns there changing a little bit yeah so this is going to be a nice warm color lap gany kind of thing for me pick and mix cow by the way hosted by miss lisa ladybird loves i will have it linked down below there's still time to join in you can still catch up you see how much we've done okay and this is me finishing week two and it start you know it comes up on thursdays she does a little live, a little 30 minute live. The spinny wheelie thing picks the color out of your colors, you know, one to four, and picks the stitch out of like a bunch of stitches. Um, and then we figure it out and we do it. And I'm looking forward to learning even more new stuff. This textured wave stitch, Lisa's actually got a tutorial on her channel about it because um, she does some pretty cool tutorials. So even if you don't want to do the cow, that stitch is pretty cool. And I liked it so much that I, oh, let's not drop a little ball of yarn. I have some uh, scrap cotton, and I was sitting there just watching TV last night, and I just started making a washcloth, and I'll just go until I think it's big enough, and I will have a textured wave pink washcloth. There you go. And if I run out of pink, I'll add some white to it. Ain't nothing fancy here. I crochet while I watch TV now. I just started this year. What did I do? before I started crocheting while I watched television when I rode in a car because now my hands must have yarn going through them yes 
Now, the uh, Crochet Tober blanket, let me reach in here, and I am not quite done with my round today. I worked on it at lunch, and I almost got there. Well, no, I didn't almost get there. Huh. Apparently I have, oh, good gravy, where the blast am I on this thing? Okay, maybe it started there. Oh, I don't even remember. It should still be attached to the yarn. Here we go. I'm adding um, some more of that Red Heart. Oh, for Pete's sake, I'm a doofus. It's this, but it's the one that I have that's not in a ball band anymore. Uh, Red Heart with Love stripes. I just really like the colors that are in it. And this one is looking kind of empty and sad, so I'll be finishing this one soon. But, uh, okay, I'm looking at the front, so, oh gosh, this is getting big. I'm just doing one row, one round a day now with whatever it ends up. Like if I'm using um, a, a scrap ball and it runs out before I get all the way around, I'll use enough of something else to get the rest of the way around because I want to do one complete round a day. Yes, this is going to be huge. It's probably going to live on my king size bed. Okay. Yes. I love it. Look at this. Look at all of the colors. I just think it's happy and fun. The spider web in the middle is very cool. And anybody who has uh, seen me in person knows that, I mean, I have some tattoos that are old enough to be grandparents themselves. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I got, uh, there's a spider a few inches above my knee. And it's actually kind of a big spider that I got when I was 18. Um, so yeah, this, this, is, this is where apparently where that spider lives. It's a pet though. It's very sweet. Doesn't bite. Just kind of sits there and intimidates people sometimes. I'm just saying. Anyway, that. <laughs> but look at all these wonderful colors. This just is so happy to me. And in some of the yards, I can look and remember where I got them and what I did with them. I made scrunchies out of this. This was a mainstay in a pink color. This is the yarn, the pink, that I made my um, hat and fingerless gloves out of the divine hat the first divine hat I made it made out of that this is some purple that I won and it was very awesome um here is a lovely brown color that I think was on a dollar tree yard so yeah it's kind of fun to see where this came from this camo that's come up a couple of times um this is the stuff that I made my friend Sean a couple of hats and some fingerless mitts out of because he wanted a camo hat and I'm like, great, I've got this super sized ball. I'm going to do some more stuff with it. I got no use for the camo myself. But, you know, dude likes camo. It's all good. So this and this, and there's still a little bit more in my bag of scraps. So it'll happen again. I'll go the rest of the way around with this with love tonight. And it'll probably change colors. I'm also going to weave in my ends. At least every couple of days, I weave in my ends. Because I don't want a ton left at the end. I just don't because I weaving in ends is like no I don't want to it's like doing your taxes okay you got to do your taxes but you really don't want to fool with it am I right okay thought we were on the same page there <laughs> anyway just having fun with the slightly cooler weather I get to pull out one of my favorite sweatshirt outfits it is so comfy um, bought it after the winter stuff got marked down a couple of years ago because that's what I do. I wait till the season's over when they mark that stuff down and then mark it down again. Your girl goes in and gets it because I don't like paying full price for anything if I don't have to. There's that. So it's a Monday. We have survived Monday, y'all. And I hope you saw my happy mail video because yes. Oh, and Lisa, yes. I did get the magnet. I had set it aside so that I wouldn't lose it. And then, you know, I swear, sometimes I think I must be blonde. No offense to blondes. I've been blonde before. But now I'm just having gray moments, I think. This is a magnet of Lisa's logo. It came with a little well, member welcome pack that I got. I love it. And it's going to live on my fridge so I can see it every day. Because you know your fat chick girl goes to the fridge every day. Right? Hope y'all are having a wonderful Monday, as good as we can make it. And uh, I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.